I got a question recently about changing the font size based on the screen size. So if we have a small screen, this person wanted the font size to be larger. But if then they were on a larger screen like this, the font size would then be smaller. So as it is right now. So let's have a look at how we could do this. This is one way. Of course, you could tackle something like this with CSS. I actually try to make as little, I try to write as little CSS as possible when I code. So let's have a look at how we do this with JavaScript. And you're gonna learn something really cool along the way. If we import use Quasar, we grab that from Quasar, check this out. We can say const Quasar is equal to use Quasar. And a lot of people will call this variable dollar sign Q or even just Q, I prefer to use the whole word. This is just a habit I like to get into, using the whole words of things and never abbreviating. There are exceptions like, you know, ID, but for the most part, this is usually how I do things. If you don't like it, that's fine. Do whatever you like. Now let's do a console.log here to see what we have on that. Basically, it gives us a whole bunch of information about our application. Really, really cool. So we got um, the most important ones for you to look at would be the platform. So we come in here, this tells us everything we need to know about the platform. This is really great for analytics. So if you want to send something to the back end about the user agent, especially um, if you want to help clients at an individual level, it's really cool to know what their user agent is ahead of time. So you can know, you know, are they on a, um, are they on an Apple or a Mac? So you can figure that out by going is. So we got platform Linux because I'm on a Linux computer. Really cool stuff, but we're more interested in this screen attribute here. Oh, I click something. And specifically, we're gonna check if the screen is less than, so let's crack that open, medium. So basically this reads really well, because we can say, hey Quasar, is the screen less than medium? And in this case, the answer to that would be false but then this would dynamically update if we put it in a computed. I'll show you what that looks like. Boom, whack that on the side. And let's come through here and say, for example, how about font size? And that's going to be a computed. We want this to be a computed so that it reacts as we change the size of the screen. And then I can say here, hey Quasar, we'll go return. Hey Quasar, is the screen less than medium. This reads really well. Quasar is a screen less than medium. In other words, are we on a smaller screen right now? If we're on a smaller screen right now, give me some larger text. So maybe we can say like 1.3 RAM or something like that. And then we can say, if it's not on a, um, on a smaller screen, so if it's on a larger screen, 0.85. And I'll make sure I add in rem as well. All right, now we can go ahead and use this variable. So if we come down here, instead of class text body two, I'm going to change that to style. And then I'll say font size, and we'll whack that directly in there. Now, most people hate having um, style tags in HTML. I shouldn't say most people, but a lot of people do. I actually don't mind a couple of these one-liners every now and then, especially for things like font size. I'll often do like these little style tags, but if you're using style tags quite a bit, then you might wanna extract that over to, um, to a class. It just depends on your use case. Something you get a feel for. Okay, so it looks like something is wrong in my code. Computed is not defined. Well, that makes sense because we never imported it. So let's come in here and say import computed from view. Save that. And let's see if this works. So we got some pretty small text there. And if I make it smaller, boom, it gets larger once we hit that threshold. How cool is that? So there you go. Not only did you learn that we've got access to the screen size through Quasar, but a whole bunch of other cool things about our application. So I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you in the next video.